Okay, welcome to this tutorial uh, where I'm going to go through some of the more advanced audio customization features that you can do with Adobe Premiere Pro. I've already done a more basic audio focused tutorial on this program, so please watch that tutorial first before you move on to this one. Um, what I've got in front of me here is an interview that I conducted uh, and I've already uh, ingested that interview, which is down here. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, probably what will happen when you first ingest your files is they'll look like this. They won't have that audio representation. I always recommend that you drag this down so you actually get to see a visual representation of your audio files. Um, it's going to be very helpful. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'll just press play and so we can see what's going on I and also what hear really it. Wanted to look at. Please look over here at the levels. The floor, asked people for ideas, tried to find who was really passionate about things. And who what you can see is that we've got two levels going on and one is softer than the other. The left level here, the left channel, is clearly not reaching as high a volume as the right channel. Who actually had suggested, oh, I've seen this before, or perhaps... What this visual representation is doing is it's telling us the left speaker and the right speaker. So basically it's a, it's a stereo channel with two, two different audio channels, left and right. Um, the reason why the levels are different is because in this interview situation, I was using two different microphones. I actually had a microphone attached to the camera, which is called a shotgun microphone. And then I also had another microphone uh, here, which is a lapel microphone. Um, and so what's going on is that we're seeing a visual representation of those two different microphones. This is something we could really fix very quickly. The left microphone or the left channel is the shotgun microphone on the camera. The right channel is the, the lapel microphone. Maybe and that's, one or two days work. That's why the right channel is uh, at a higher volume is because clearly the microphone there is closer to my interviewee's uh, voice than the other microphone on top of the camera. Um, why am I telling you all this? Well, the reason is because I, what I want to do in to make this audio really crisp and clean is that I want to get rid of the uh, shotgun microphone audio and just use the audio I captured from the lapel. Um, the way you do this is I right click on my audio file track here and you're going to get all these options remember if you don't if you can't right click because you're using a laptop just hold control and left click you'll get the same options um, and then click on audio channels and you get this screen and I'll try and explain it to you basically we've got the source channel going into the track channel which is uh, on Premiere Pro the source channel refers to my micro microphones I've got left and right and as I explained before my left channel is my shotgun microphone and my right channel is my lapel microphone. So at the moment, as at a default, my shotgun microphone on the left is going into Adobe Premiere Pro on the left and my lapel microphone on the right is going into uh, Adobe Premiere Pro on the right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change both of them to my source channel being right right, which means both my source channels are going to be lapel microphone, lapel microphone, and that's going into left and right on Adobe. So what's happening now, if I press play, and basically put those ideas out there, and picked up the best ones, those... We're getting a consistent level of audio volume, but more importantly, the sound quality is a lot crisper and clear because I've got rid of that uh, shotgun microphone that wasn't picking up the best audio quality and now I'm just using that lapel microphone for both my audio channels. These ones were slowly broken down. I'll show you what happens if I did the reverse. So if I go into my audio channels and selected left left, which would be having my source as shotgun microphone and shotgun microphone, then let's listen to it now basically torn to pieces, some of them like, oh, what about this? You didn't do this, you've completely forgotten this, it does So not only is it softer, but the audio quality is actually not as good. Now, 
obviously you might think well why did I record the interview with two microphones in the first place the reason being is that it's always a really good idea if you have access to two mics to do do it with two mics because you never know what's going to happen when you're in the field doing an interview I'm using a lapel mic here but the lapel could run out of batteries it could stop working it could fall out of his shirt and we wouldn't notice or most common is that you might get some clothing scrapes on occasions. So maybe 99% of the interview is usable, but on occasions our interviewee might move and his clothing scrapes up against his lapel and we have that like one or two seconds that we can't use. But because I had the secondary microphone, the shotgun going anyway, that's my backup and I can use that, that, that audio, even though it's not as good, I can use it um, in a pinch if I need to as a backup. So that's why it's always a good idea to have two microphones going at the same time. Um, now, next thing is you might be in a, at, at, in, in this particular interview situation, I'm very happy with the audio that the lapel got. So I want to change both my channels to be the lapel, easy. But you may be in a situation where you want to use both uh, microphones. You might want to use the shotgun microphone and the lapel or external microphone, um, but you want to alter the volume of each. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's get this back into what it was as a default, which was left and right. Now you can see there, we've got two different channels, two different volumes going on. What I'm gonna do is I am going to, again, go into the right click options. And this time I'm gonna click unlink. What that will do is unlink, detach my audio from the video. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm about to copy this audio. So I'm duplicating it, copy and paste next to it. And then I'm gonna move that under. And also I always like to see visual representation. So drag that out. Okay, so I've got an exact replica of this audio now. Um, and the reason being is because as I said, I want to have both tracks, both microphones going, but I want to alter the volume of each. So I'm going to go into the audio channels of the first track of microphone and change that to left left. And then just move this down. Here's my other duplicated audio. Go into the audio channels of that, make it right right. So I've got left left, right right, and now I can change the volume of both individually. So let's say the left one, the shotgun mic, I want to move that down. And then the lapel mic, I want to raise slightly. And then I'll press play. Okay. Right. And I suppose finding out the teachers have live in. So now because I've got that shotgun microphone slightly more active, we can hear the bird noises in the background as well as getting crisp and clean uh, voice audio. So you might be in a situation where you want to use both mics um, and have individual control over the volume. That's how you do it. Um, just be aware that if you do unlink things, unlink the video from its audio, then you can move them around individually, but you might move them and then forget that stage of that and really found work down to that the audio is no longer synced to the video and it can lead to problems. So my advice is if you ever unlink this stuff, once you've got it all set up how you want it, relink them, select them all, go into your right click options and then just click link again. That way, if you move these around, they're all attached to each other and the audio will remain synced to the video. Okay, I hope some of those uh, audio options will be helpful in your projects. Good luck.